Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob. Today we're going to do an easy, easy steak. We're going to do a ribeye cap steak, which is also spinalis, right? I've done it before here on videos. Um, at least one I know I, I did a video of. Uh, you can get them coiled up, you know, like from Costco, I think maybe. This is this one's from Wild Fork. Um, I bought it, you know, but it, it comes out more like a, like a steak. You know, it's just a flat thing instead of being like cut up from individual ones and coiled up. Anyway, you're going to see that pretty soon. We're going to be using the Weber kettle. Uh, this is a 26 inch kettle. We're not going to be using uh, like Vortex or Slow and Sear, any baskets or anything. We're just going to have the charcoal right in the center. Boom, boom. It's going to be great. So let's go and get this guy lit and then we'll work on the steak. All right, you guys ready to see this steak? Let's go ahead and season it up. All right, we're gonna be using our salt, pepper, garlic mix. It's got about three parts pepper, two parts salt, one part garlic. And I didn't do anything to this really. I, it did have a little bit of silver skin on it that I cut off, but that's about it. This shaker isn't that great. I tried a new trick by holding it sideways like this seem to work a little better but it's good I'm not using a binder it's already a little sticky All right, it is blazing in here. Woo wee. All right, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Okay, we're gonna give that about two minutes. There we go, it's twisted about 90 degrees. Checking the color in here. Um, we're probably at about 400, 450 degrees right now. Anyway, do that for about two minutes. Might leave it a little bit longer. Yeah, it's been just over two minutes. Nice. Getting some nice, nice color on this guy, aren't we? All right, two minutes there. Alrighty, let's go ahead and tempt this guy. We're at six minutes so far. We're at about 99 there. 111 there. 95 there. 115, 4, 112 there. I'm gonna give that about uh, a little under two minutes. 
All right. Woo. Well, we got 110, 113. I'm just gonna leave this open and let it kind of do this thing. So I'm looking for 120, I'm gonna pull it off. All right, let's see. Ow, it's really hot on there. Yeah, before I can even, uh, yeah, we're hitting 118 in that corner and <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll slice into it and taste it. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this thing. I'm starving and it smells delicious. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna go like that. I think it's, there's a cut right along through here, so I'm gonna go this way on it. Oh, I forgot this knife isn't that great. Gotta sharpen it. Man, looking good. One more cut and I'll show you guys. Look at that. Man. Oh, look at this one. This has, this has some of the Oh, best one ever. All right, I'm gonna try it. It's so good. Man, this is the this is the best cut of steak you could get. Man, you gotta try it. Try it once for me. Wherever you can find it. You know, again, I think Costco has the uh, the rolled up ones. Get out of here, fly. Um, Wild Fork has them. And this is the one from Wild Fork, so it's like a they cut it off before they slice up all the ribeyes. It's just amazing. All right, well, if you're new here, please subscribe. Put some comments down below. I'll answer every one of them. Uh, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down regarding the video. It's great to be cooking on charcoal, man. So, hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.